Hey everyone, Jason Hill here. I had a request from a few people wondering if I was going to do a uh, Super Bowl recipe and I've been really depressed because my team didn't make it this year. They came super close. Bet you can't guess who my team is. Anyway, Super Bowl food is about snacking. And so I'm not going to be doing anything fancy, anything. I've got a ton of snacky videos that would go great for the Super Bowl already. But today, um, I'm going to do a salsa video. Um, I was inspired by this because we had a taco bar party about two or three weeks ago for a friend of ours who was celebrating her birthday. And I did it my old school salsa. <laughs> salsa. And a friend of ours brought hers over. And it just had a really good smoky flavor. And I thought maybe she roasted the peppers. And the only thing she did different was she used organic canned tomatoes that were already fire roasted. And it's really simple. So let's get this kickoff going and we'll show you how to do it. For Jeray is her name. For her recipe, she uses two jalapenos and she doesn't take the seeds out, but I will cut off the top just to kind of remove that core top piece. We're gonna use about a quarter cup of lemon juice. So the juice of one lemon is enough. And this is a Meyer lemon, which is almost a little bit sweet. All right. Like I said, my team didn't make it. I'm over it. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm over it. <laughs> so let's get started. I've got this great Blendtec. Um, there's no other blender besides this one, as far as I'm concerned. I've used this thing so many different times, so many different ways. So. Okay, whole jalapenos, we're doing two. It's gonna be spicy. I've got the half of the Maui sweet onion. I'm going to throw those in first and just give that a little rough, quick chop. Here we go. Just enough, I don't wanna puree it. I just want it to get a head start before we add the other ingredients. Woo! Ha, you can get the fumes from the peppers as an onion. I need goggles. Mm. Okay, we're gonna get a whole full bunch of washed cilantro in there, followed by a tablespoon of ground cumin. And I will put the salt in after and the lemon juice. So here come our tomatoes. Like I said, organic stewed fire or fire roasted and it's three cups or roughly a 30 ounce can or two 14 ounce cans or something like that. But it comes out to three cups when I put it in my cup. And then lastly, our fresh squeezed lemon juice. And if you have a lime, that works too. And sometimes Jeray says she puts in both. So I might just do that too. But I'll wait till the end and kind of taste test it. And if you have time, make the salsa up about a day ahead of time or at least a few hours so the flavors meld. Okay, Jeray's recipe doesn't call for garlic, but you could put in a clove or two. I'm gonna put in a little quarter teaspoon of my garlic shallot puree because I put this stuff in everything. All right. seconds. You can go longer if you really want it pureed. I like it a little chunky so it sits on your chip a little better and just doesn't go running off down onto the your lap or your face or whatever. So now I'm going to take my little spoon and we're just going to start off pinching some salt in there to taste. So we might end up using about a teaspoon and I use kosher salt. Okay, ready to taste it? I'm going to get our serving bowl and pour some in. Oh, look at that. Those fire roasted tomatoes give it a nice little texture. All right, let's give it a taste. Chips and dip, chips and salsa. It's all you need for your Super Bowl party. Well, that and some wings and beer or whatever. Mmm. 
flavors come together really quick with this recipe. Very good. I'm gonna add a little more salt. And like I said, she does a lime, I have a lime. I'm gonna squeeze in a little lime juice. And we'll just stir that back up. I'll get another chip because we don't double dip. Fresh chip, little lime juice, a little more salt. And this is probably gonna be one of your favorite salsas. Mm. It's definitely one of mine. Enjoy the big game, the Super Bowl. And uh, as always, thanks for tubing in. Leave me some comments and don't forget to subscribe. Man, that's good.